Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Jim Thomas, pastor of the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. So glad you could join me for daily devotions. This morning, I'd like to read from a book called Voices from the Past, uh, Puritan devotional readings edited together by Richard Rushing. He says of this writing, how thrill it has been for me to read the Puritans on the glory and attributes of God, divine providence, fellowship with God, holiness of life, mortification of sin, heavenly mindedness, prayer, evangelistic zeal, and trust in the Lord during times of affliction. At every turn, these truths are eloquently taught, faithfully applied, and kindly offered as the subject of sweet spiritual meditation. This morning's reading, uh, taken from the writings of Richard Baxter, um, one of the great English Puritans. Uh, he uh, lifts from the verse, uh, Romans eight thirty one. if God is for us, who can be against us? And again, I'm tying that back to our study uh, on Sunday of Romans chapter 8, verses 28 to 39, uh, uh, which I just loved and was so encouraged by myself. But Baxter writes here, Do not be discouraged at the difficulties and oppositions that will rise up before you when you begin resolvedly to walk with God. Discouragements turn multitudes from religion and provide a great temptation for many young beginners to turn back. Israel in the wilderness was ready to retreat to Egypt. God himself will have his servants and his graces tried and exercised by difficulties, and Satan will quickly rise or raise up storms before you as soon as you are set out to sea. But God is on your side and has all your enemies in his hand, and he can rebuke them or destroy them in a moment. Oh, what is the breath or fury of dust or devils against the Lord Almighty? In the day you entered into a covenant with God and he with you, you entered into the most impregnable rock and fortress and covered yourself in a castle of defense where you may modestly defy all adverse powers of earth or hell. If God cannot save you, he is not God. And if he will not save you, he must break his covenant. Indeed, he may resolve to save you, not from affliction and persecution, but in it and even by it. But in all these things, you will overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. And there he's quoting from uh, Romans eight thirty-seven. 37. Um, it is far more desirable and excellent to conquer by patience in suffering for Christ than to conquer your persecutors in the field by force of arms. Oh, think on the saints' triumphant boastings in their God. And now he quotes from Psalm 46, 1, that uh, first psalm that we studied uh, back when we had to start going remote with our worship service, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46, 1. If all of the world were on your side, you might yet have cause to fear, but to have God on your side is infinitely more. Christ, the captain of your salvation, has gone this way before you, and now he is engaged to make you a conqueror. Do not be afraid where Christ is leading the way. Do not draw back when you see his steps and his blood. Richard Baxter from a Christian directory. I hope we can keep that in mind today as we go through the day. And by the way, this is again, uh, Voices from the Past, Puritan devotional readings, multitudes of other writers in that. So it's a daily reader and one I'd highly recommend to you. As we get the day started though today, let me, let me pray for uh, each and every one of us. Lord, thank you uh, that because you have conquered even our last and greatest enemy, death itself. We can have hope and confidence in you. We can trust you. You have come to bring us life and to bring that abundantly. It doesn't mean free from uh, suffering. It doesn't mean free from uh, pain and trials and temptations. It just means that through them, we do not have to walk alone. Thank you, Christ, uh, that you are familiar. Uh, you're acquainted with grief. And you know exactly where each and every one of us are at this day. I pray that you would walk with us and we would walk with you. Amen and amen.